I can't believe this day is already here. We are finally going to become one heart and soul, and we know that when together, we can serve the Lord better than apart. I'm so thankful for the growth and encouragement that you've given me over these four years, preparing me to choose to be the leader of our household and of our faith and future family. I've loved every moment that we've shared together. Luke, who would have thought that the cute boy who asked me to dance at Semi junior year of high school would be my soon-to-be husband? From the summers out on the boat, together training you to pull the boat onto the trailer, or pull me on the wakeboard. Date nights out on the town, eating pizza or Bakersfield, nothing else. Or hiking trips out west, seeing, seeing and experiencing new landscapes together. One leading to a surprise proposal. I remember looking at my friends when you asked me to dance and freaking out because Luke Forbeck just asked me to dance. It's crazy to think that those two kids would fall crazy in love with each other. Remember when we thought we were going to die on that flight to Denver? And then I, I almost proposed on the flight. <laughs> well, we didn't die, and here we are. We made it, and uh, we're reading our vows together. These past four years have flown by with you. We have grown so much. We have found the Lord together, took you to your first concert, and so many to follow that first Cody Allen concert. Went on lots of family vacations and boating trips, and way too many good memories and laughs together to count. I love you so much, Sylvia, and I can't wait to spend forever living these vows out. The way that you have loved and pursued me is better than I could have ever dreamt of. Your humor, passion for the Lord, and openness to try new things are just some of my favorite things about you. Sylvia, I vow to lead our home in family and faith, building our legacy on a firm foundation. I vow to die to self every day, and when you aren't feeling 100%, give the support needed even if I'm not 100% either. You treat me like a delicate flower, and for that, I am forever grateful. I know that if we let the Lord lead our marriage, we will flourish. I vow to roll the windows up if you're not in the mood when I just want all the windows down and cranking up to Kenny. I vow to support your every decision and be your place to take anything and everything. I vow to be truthful and honest with you at all times. Luke, I vow to look for the good in everything you say and do. I vow to challenge you grow you, support you, and stick up for you, submit to you, and point you to the Lord. I vow to prioritize our relationship over family, friends, and work. I vow to continue to order meals that I know you like too, so we can spoke to I vow to stop whatever I'm doing and have open ears when you come home from work ready to vent about your day. I vow to laugh at your jokes even when they turn into dad jokes one day. I vow to keep a smile on my face even when it's the fifth time I've heard the story about some guy I did work for. <laughs> I vow to take you on adventures and keep our love fresh and exciting. I vow to cherish and love you each and every day. I vow to die to myself every day to serve you in the best way that I can. I vow my faithfulness to you through the good times and the bad, through sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do us part. According to God's holy law, in the presence of God and our loved ones, I make these vows. Sylvia, I love you with my whole heart, unconditionally, and I vow to make you feel that way forever. Thank you for choosing me. I vow to turn you into the most bougie plumber ever, one French press at a time. <laughs> I vow my faithfulness to you through the good times and bad times, through sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part. According to God's holy law and the presence of God and our loved ones, I make these vows. And I am sure of all of these things because of this final vow. I vow to always put the Lord first in our marriage, and my love for you will be a result of the overwhelming 
overflowing love we have received from our Heavenly Father. I love you endlessly, Luke Jacob Forbeck, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Thank you for being mine. Sylvia Lauren and Luke Jacob, I've had the unique privilege of watching you both grow as individuals over the last couple years. From the first high school dance to starting a job and being weekend warriors, it felt like time has flown by. Uh, love has nothing to do with what you're expecting to get, only with what you're expecting to give, which is everything. Luke and Sylvia deserve the very best, and that's what they got. I wish you guys so many years of happiness. I love you both so much, and I'm so proud of you guys. Here's to the bride and groom. To Luke, you will always be the boy that stole my little sister's heart, who swept her off her feet and changed her life for the better. But not only are you that, but you're the man who'll be her partner and her confidant in life. Having slumber parties with our groups of friends to learning TikToks in uh, the dining room. Um, I'm so grateful that God gave me a built-in uh, best friend. Luke and me have always had a great bond and Luke will always be my role model. I can't thank God enough for blessing me with such a perfect brother who always guided me through my life. When I see Sylvia and Luke together, I expect them to be together. And that's the big part of love. And it's usually the older sibling um, who gives advice and models the life experiences for the younger. But I have been so proud um, to learn from you both as you experience these new milestones before I do. And so, I've given advice when I could, and I recommend you guys for marriage, and I want to strengthen you and encourage you along the way as you start your new beginning. I never really enjoyed school, and if I didn't learn something from my mom and dad, then I'd learn it from Luke. He has always been there for me when I needed him, and I know he always will be. Luke is the happiest, funniest, nicest, and most hardworking person I know. He's the guy I strive to be like every day. So Sylvia, you will always be my sweet little sister, the feisty and the beautiful one, the one who is indecisive over the little things, and the professional napper. Um, so I'm so proud of the woman you've become. You're generous, you're kind, you're hardworking, you're insanely smart, and you love without compromise. I'm always admired by the way you follow your heart in the way that you love the Lord. At one point in Luke's life, he just seemed different. It just felt like a piece of Luke was missing. After a little while, I figured out that that piece that was missing in Luke was your one and only beautiful, kind, and Luke 2.0, Sylvia. <laughs> I was at a baseball game over Liberty Park, and uh, we were talking about things, and I said that, uh, yeah, well, Luke, uh, he's getting married. He's marrying somebody named Sylvia. Sylvia, three rows back, somebody yelled out, Phillips, Phillips. So they're well known, and uh, they're good people. I'm really proud of both of them, and uh, it's great to be here. You've made me feel like your sister and the brother I've never had until now. I've also noticed the way that your faith has grown, and I've been so impressed as you run and model your life after Christ. I challenge you to continue to make him a priority every day as you grow in your trust and love and completeness in Christ along with Sylvia. Luke has literally the biggest servant's heart I know, and I know that comes from God. Um, Sylvia's love language is 100% uh, gifts and acts of service, and Luke knows just the way to her heart. I love you, Syl, and I'm so glad you're an official Forbeck now. You deserve the very best, and it doesn't get any better than my brother Luke. I love you guys more than anything in the world, and I wish you the very best. 